Hello friends, this video on electromagnetic induction part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are Introduction, Faraday's Experiments, Faraday's Law of Induction, Lenz Law, Motional Electromotive Force, Eddy Currents, Inductance and AC Generator. So to start with, we will see what is the purpose of studying electromagnetic induction or how is it helpful, how does it, whether if it really helps in our day to day life so that we can go ahead and study concepts of electromagnetic induction. There are a couple of applications of uh, electromagnetic induction and even now we find uh, many improvements on electromagnetic induction. For example, some of the in interesting applications are the induction cooker. Now, I mean, you might be wondering how each of them work. Uh, well, when we reach the end of this lesson, that is when we already know the concepts of electromagnetic induction. After that, we'll come back to the same slide and we will see how each of them work. Because now, even if I tell you, okay, these are the things where electromagnetic application is implemented, even that, then you will not understand how exactly it is implemented or how exactly electromagnetic induction helps. So it is better that towards the end of the lesson, we come back to the screen and we see how each of them actually makes use of the phenomenon of electromagnetic induction. So the applications, we'll just have a look at the application so that you get the interest of studying further on it. We have induction cooker or induction furnace. Then we have the electric motor, the electric generator, the high, the fast moving electric trains, which we normally, which we normally don't see in India, you see them mostly in abroad. Uh, not only that, you have uh, the application of electromagnetic brakes in your elevators. You also have a device called current clamp, which looks somewhat like this. This device is useful to measure the amount of current flowing through a wire. Right. Um, apart from that, you also have uh, certain kind of devices like torches and all where instead of using battery, which which undergoes wear and tear and which needs a maintenance, which involves a maintenance cost, you can make use of the phenomenon of electromagnetic induction. The most important advantage of using electromagnetic induction is that it is very much cost, cost effective. It doesn't involve any maintenance cost at all. Not only that, uh, there is a surprising, I mean, you'll be surprised to know that even wireless charging is coming into picture. That is, you can charge your mobile maybe somewhere and uh, you don't need a wire, right? That sounds so interesting. So even those kind of phenomenon are getting possible because of the phenomenon of electromagnetic induction. So this is not only an interesting topic, but a very, very helpful topic as such. You see many of the scientists even today, they perform large number of they do so much of research and experiments and try to make use of electromagnetic induction in our day-to-day -day life to make things better and simpler thank you please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thank you once again